The case against former U of L basketball star Chris Jones now heads to the grand jury. Jones and two other men accused of rape appeared in court for the second time this afternoon. WLKY's Annalisa Gale spoke to attorneys on both sides of the case and those who attended the hearing. She's live at the Hall of Justice with more. Annalisa? Good evening, Rick. It was a short session in court for Chris Jones and his two other defendants, also co defendants, also accused of rape. Right now, his attorneys remain confident in his case. And the evidence in his favor, frankly, is growing every day as we continue our investigation. Former U of L point guard Chris Jones opted not to have a probable cause hearing Monday that would detail the allegations against him. And you're freely and voluntarily waiting now. Yes, ma'am. Jones is accused of raping two women at a get together inside the Cardinal Town apartments on February 22nd. One of the two women also accused Tyvon Walker and Jalen Tilford of rape. Both men also waived their right to a preliminary hearing on Monday. You're doing this freely and voluntarily. Very good, sir. Prosecutors were planning to have an officer testify at the hearing. If we had a hearing today, we would have had ample, credible, and competent evidence to move this forward uh, in terms of probable cause and refer it to the grand jury. And it really didn't advance our interest to have that hearing where we can't cross examine uh, the witnesses against him. Uh, we believe that the grand jury is going to hear from all the witnesses in this case, every single one of them. Representatives from the West Louisville Ministers Coalition for Economic Justice say they are watching the case closely. Well, we're here uh, primarily and exclusively to, to make sure that justice is being served. We have some concerns regarding particulars of this case. We're not going to argue for the guilt or innocence of Mr. Jones. We want the, the, the merits of the case to, to play out. Rick Jones' attorney also tells me his father is in town from Atlanta supporting his son. They're hoping to use video from the Cardinal Town Apartments to exonerate Jones. Live from the Hall of Justice, I'm Annalisa Gale, WOKY News. Thank you, Annalisa. Chris Jones and his two co defendants are on home incarceration. Their cases will be presented to the Jefferson County Grand Jury next month. U of L dismissed Jones from the basketball team because he missed curfew on the night of the alleged incidents. He is no longer enrolled at the school.